Hi everyone, this is Sia from Helium. Today I'm going to show you how to use Helium DC100 decoder to add NDIHX2 video sources to the local RN network to decode and output. First, let's have a look at the connection diagram. The front end of the encoder is connected to the camera with the SDI or HDMI cable and the NDI stream is encoded and transmitted into the network. The decoder pulls the NDI stream on the network, decodes and outputs it to display. So when it comes to NDI decoding, first you need to have NDI HX decoded video streams. It is noted that the first generation of NDI HX protocol encoded video streams do not support decoding. They can only be decoded if they are um, upgraded to NDI HX2. Curious N1, N2, E1 NDI, E2 NDI codecs can all be upgraded to support NDI HX2. Okay, um, let's stop the operation. First, log in to the web page. As of the NDI option, you can configure the NDI device name, channel name, and also set the NDI group name. If it is not building, it will be in the public groups as default. Um, so after finish upgrading, the, and we enter the decoder page and add the NDI decoded video stream and start output. Here we have three different ways. The first one, automatically discover and add NDIHX to video sources. Log in to the decoder's web page. Click Discover on the media page and find the NDI video sources of the public group in the same network segment in the pop-up dialog box NDI sources. According to the device name and channel name of the NDI sources, Select the source that needs to be added. Click Add and the video source will be added to the video source list. You can see that the video library has been successfully added in the lower left color. Um, the second type, manually add non-public groups or IP across network segments. Click the Settings button in NDI Sources to enter the configuration dialog box. The default is the public groups. If the video source is not in the public group, you can fill in the specific group name in the box. Click the OK button. Note any IP address in the second line does not need to be filled in. The device will search for this group name for the NDI source. You can also add multiple group names to search. When you need to search for video sources across network segments, in addition to the specified group name, you also need to fill in the specified IP address in the IP field and click the plus button at the back to add its IP address to the manually scan address list. You can even add multiple IP addresses at once to search at the same time and then click OK to save. So here we come to the third time. Manually fill in the URL address. Click Add directly on the decoder page. Find the last tag MDI in the URL address. Click and fill in the corresponding parameters including name, URL addresses, NDI name, code stream, playback buffer, and click OK. So now you can see a signal is displaying in the video source of the decoder. Drag the video source to the output box, and the decoder will start to decode and output. If the status bar at the bottom is displayed in green, it means that the decoding is already being done. Takes the web page of QVU D300 decoder is only an operation page and it cannot preview the output screen. But we can watch the decoding video from the display connected to the HDMI output of D300. Well, that's all for this three decoding methods. If you want to have more information about us, 
you can head to our website here.